founder and CEO of Scanton. We uh, in 2017 started uh, with generating uh, AR avatars and we started building the biggest library of AR avatars in the world. Um, we bought 110 of our IPs and um, the problem in that case was that it, it takes a lot of time to animate 3D characters, you know, to get every emotion right because if you want to create a library, you want to capture each and every possibility that the 3D character wants, needs to dissemble. So that's the problem that we found in generating, uh, you know, in, when we want to generate a lot of content for augmented reality, there needs to be a smarter way. There needs to be a way where we are able to combine technologies like machine learning so that our production pipelines could be significantly reduced. And that's how we see in one space, one, one micro aspect of this is animation. When we're able to automate the entire animation process and reduce those production timelines, I think that would be a really interesting, interesting solution for the market. So what we did was um, we took a 3D asset and um, we linked that 3D asset um, to the multiple different animations that we have. Now, the 3D asset is able to uh, be linked to those animations based on uh, voice command. So if the user says, hey, I'm really happy today, uh, it chooses the relevant animation through our, uh, through our network or our uh, model. And through that process, it's able to identify the right animation, uh, right blend shapes, uh, which are expressions, and the 3D model in that case, and also link it to the relevant environment and give an output in that case, which is completely in sync with what the user is trying to say. Hey, I am very happy today. Hey, I am very happy today. And that's how we see a very interesting mix of how machine learning is integrated onto the automated animation, that's on automated animation space. And that's how we are specifically leveraging and leveraging it. And we think that the use cases go way beyond AR. It has huge uh, use cases for the animation industry and also content generation in VR as a whole. We see now that automated animation has already generated a lot of interest. Um, and it's really exciting of what could be the use cases for it. One of the use cases that we see right now is AR avatars. And every big uh, ecosystem has their own AR avatars where you can customize and create your own stuff. And our objective is we can make all of those ecosystems and all of those avatars intelligent. Now these avatars are being leveraged as a medium of communication and augmented reality is a natural tool for it. Now let me give you an example of how this could work. You're at your home and you say, hey Alexa, tell John I'm gonna reach at 7.30 p.m. I'm sorry I'm late. Hey Alexa, tell John I am gonna reach at 7.30 p.m. I am sorry I am late. John receives this message. It could be either through a smartphone notification within an iMessage or a WhatsApp or whomsoever we're able to integrate with, or it could be through a smart device. Once John receives this message, an avatar pops out and says, Hey, I'm sorry, I'm gonna reach at 7.30. I'm sorry I'm late. And I am gonna reach at 7.30 p.m. I am sorry I am late. Now, this is a, this AR avatar depicts exactly what the user is supposed to say and depict the right emotion. Now, this entire process is some, uh, this, this entire process allows the avatar to animate itself based on those voice inputs. And that gives us liberty to integrate across ecosystems. So we're able to integrate with smart speakers, messenger applications, smartphone manufacturers, and also smart glasses manufacturers because we see that as also a prospective medium of communication. So there, there, there are immense possibilities of how we could leverage this. I've been involved with augmented and virtual reality for the past few years now. I even started Tesla's AR VR group. I'm excited to join Scanta because of our vision and our direction. At Scanta, we're using artificial intelligence to 
automate the animation of our 3D characters called Peek Emojis. Peek Emojis are 3D spatial characters that allow people to add new, fun, and interesting things to their conversations with their friends around the world using augmented and virtual reality. The technology behind animating these 3D characters has massive potential. It has the potential of saving filmmakers and animators literally billions of dollars through our platform. There's a few challenges that we're going to be facing over the coming years as we build this platform. One is going to be selecting and building out the right deep learning models. Next is going to be creating and optimizing our pipeline. And finally, the biggest one of all is going to be data. Finding the right type of data and enough of it to create compelling animations. I'm looking forward to the coming years as we build out our world-class team to create this incredible product.